So you want to compare one square at a time. I'm not going to draw any of this background, so I don't need to have anything in this square. And then I'm coming in and I'm looking at about where this hits. I think that I need to make a slight adjustment here uh, to be closer to where that falls in here. So making adjustments as I'm going through and just double checking in each square. In this square over here, there just is like a tiny little bit that comes out, but then it kind of like falls flat on that line. So I'm double checking that. I'm looking at all this space in here. So I'm double checking to make sure one square at a time that everything is drawn accurately. But then again, other than this one little part that kind of comes out in this last square, the rest of this would be left empty. mix up a skin tone, I'm going to be looking at his skin tone, and he has pretty light skin, but then there's going to be some areas that is really dark. If you're drawing somebody that has really dark skin, they're always going to have some areas that are going to be really light because of where light hits the surface of the bone structure. So you're going to have lights and darks within skin tones regardless of the person's pigment. If you're drawing somebody that has a lighter skin tone, obviously you're going to be using more white more of the time, and somebody that is, has a darker skin tone, you're going to be using more of the darker colors. But you're also going to need to have light lights and dark darks. So I'm really important, It's you're going to be bringing in some white, a little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red and a little bit of purple and that purple is important a little bit more brown and I'm going to be mixing them together And you're just going to kind of keep working back and forth. And for different parts of the skin, you know, I might have areas that are closer to this. I might have some areas that have a little bit more red in them. Some that have a little bit more of a, like a reddish brown. And I'm mixing up the different values that I might need. For his skin tone. And I think he has a little bit more orange. So I'm going to add in just a little bit more. yellow and kind of keep working it until I have the right tone for his skin. Now I'm going to start chunking in the areas of dark. So I'm using kind of like purples and browns to kind of chunk in the darkest areas on his face and his eyes in the dips that are caused by your bone structure. So you gotta think that there's gonna be a lot of dark anywhere where light doesn't hit directly. So anything kind of coming into a deeper crevice. So I'm chunking it even in some of the hands right now. I'm starting to chunk in those darkest areas can always blend them out a little bit more. So right now I'm going for like my darkest spots and kind of chunking in some of the hair. Now I'm going to lay in some of the white. And I'm doing that just so that I don't accidentally lose those very whitest areas. 
I will come in and add a little bit more white into some areas, but this is for like my shines, my lightest spots. Now I'm starting to do some of like my more medium values and kind of looking for some of the lighter values and just chunking in with the color kind of the different values that I see in the skin tone. After I get all of these chunked in, then I'll start to smooth them. And that smoothing process will take a lot of time and I may have to kind of keep coming in and building up and layering a little bit more uh, because there's a lot of difference in variation in different parts of the skin. It's important as you start smoothing that you wipe your brush a lot. You may find that some of your brushes are a little bit softer than others, so some may work better for really smoothing certain areas. Wipe your brush often, and you can kind of keep building up and layering in more of your skin tone. You can come in and blend it as much as you need to. The great thing about oil paint is that you have a lot of time to work with it. You can still continue to blend even a few days after you've initially applied things. But it's also important to chunk because of that. I'm coming in and smoothing things out and blending that in. And then you'll start to come in and work through some of the more detailed areas. And this will take time. This is not even close to being finished. I'm just kind of getting in the basics right now.